Today I'm going to show you eight different ways that you can monetize your Discord server. I'm going to be showing you ones that I have some experience with and that I think are the most effective. But if I miss any out, please drop them in the comments and let me know what I miss. If you've already got a Discord server or if you're thinking about creating a Discord server and wondering about the different monetization options, you'll definitely find this video really useful. I've made about 30 different Discord server tutorials, so make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. While you're at it, also feel free to drop a like as well. I always appreciate that. Okay, eight different ways that you can monetize Discord. Let's go. Quick word from Own.TV who are sponsoring this video and are my partners. Own.TV have got a load of amazing overlays that you can use on your stream and they've even got themed overlays now and these are fairly newly released. Best part here is you'll be supporting the channel by using code machine at checkout. That'll also get you 50% off your order. I got the Omega skin back in season one and there's overlays to match this and a number of other different Fortnite things like the Raven. We've even got League of Legends overlays, CSGO overlays, World of Warcraft overlays and Valorant overlays that you can add Okay, I'm going to be splitting this video into two main sections. First of all, I'm going to be talking about classic marketing ways that you can monetize your Discord server. Five of those in total, although one of them's kind of a crossover. Then I'm going to go into a number of different ways that are a little bit more niche and a little bit more specific to Discord itself. So make sure you stay tuned. You're going to find this dead, dead useful. First, let's deal with the classic ways that you can monetize Discord. First, I'm going to talk about affiliate links within Discord. Now, you can pin a comment with all of your resources, favorite kit, favorite affiliated products. Now, I would recommend making this as specific to you as the creator as possible. You don't want to be in one particular area of expertise and be recommending products for a completely different area of expertise. That's why, for example, all of the different tools that I use, I also have affiliate links for those because I've got experience in using those tools. Not only that, all of the kit that I use to make YouTube videos and to stream on Twitch, I also have affiliate links for such as on Amazon. Now, you don't have to just go to Amazon for physical products and affiliate links. Most products that you would find and most services and softwares that you might use will have some form of affiliate program. So if you don't already have access to that, try reaching out to the company or doing a search on the internet. You'll more than likely find a monetizable link that you can use on your Discord server. Here's just an example of how I set up my Discord server to include some resources. Now, some of these are just general resources that are not monetized and it's pinned but also within that discord thread there are other affiliated links in there but again it's all stuff i've got experience using and this is really the key you need to be adding value when it comes recommended from you as the creator your audience will appreciate it so much more next up paid sponsors and paid partnerships on your discord server getting paid partnerships with brand is really awesome because it's kind of like free money and you get to recommend products that you're happy to be affiliated with people that are marketing and paying you are getting extra access Access to new audiences, in some cases very niche audiences. Discord is a kind of new-ish audience that brands are starting to access a little bit more, so you may find different brand deals within the Discord community now. Now, you may look at this and think, well, it's very difficult to get brand deals. Well, actually, there are things you can do just to make yourself more likely to get brand deals. Of course, growing an audience is one of them, but there are many other things, so I'm quickly going to list off some tips to get brand deals. Firstly, make sure that you've got a brand yourself. You need to look compelling as a person, as a creator, but also as a creative brand. Brands would like to associate with people that look professional and have a nice look and feel about them and are brand safe, of course. So that's a really key thing. Make sure you're open your social media DMs because brands will reach out on social media and have some sort of email that they can contact you on as well. Most brand deals will come via an email, but some will come via social media as well. Make sure when they do reach out to you that you respond very quickly to the brand deals. You don't want to respond 10 days later and all of a sudden the brand just isn't really really interested in the project they, they had planned for you. Just because you're in a Discord network, it doesn't make it any different to any other platform. You need to be professional. You need to make sure that you respond quickly and you need to make sure that you have got some sort of compelling proposition. Final tip regard to getting brand deals here is to make sure that you look up some of the different brand networks. There are hundreds of brand networks available that will connect Discord servers to brands themselves, but also more broadly, things like TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, and so on and so forth. It's easy to sign up to some of these brand networks, so just try 
try them out and see how you get on. Another classic is to offer a paid service within your Discord. Now, if your Discord is only about the paid service, then that's actually a Discord server for that paid service. It's important to make the distinction here that you can offer certain services, but the Discord is about something else, or the Discord is all about that paid service that you provide. It's really important to be clear about how you're positioning that paid service. My server, for example, does actually have some paid services. They're not actually services that I provide as a streamer or as a content creator. But for example, I have an emote creator who's made some emotes for my Twitch channel, and therefore I'm happy to promote that guy. I don't get any money for that. I'm just recommending him, but that could just as easily be me that's creating those emotes and monetizing my own artwork skills. The problem is I have no artwork skills, so I'm obviously not going to be advertising my skills on my Discord server to create emotes for people because they probably look like this. Would you pay for that? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> For real, offering some sort of paid service is a great way to monetize your time. If you have a skill, if you're quite good at it or think you can get better at it, try monetizing that skill. The problem with doing that is you are using up your spare time to do that and you will then be accountable for the work that you are doing and also the money that you are earning. Anything like graphic design, video editing services, emote services, any kind of digital skill in particular would lend itself very well on Discord communities. And of course, you can link to your own Fiverr to handle that payment mechanism, but do it through your Discord server. Next up, we've got Discord advertising services. Now, this isn't a service to advertise your Discord server. And by the way, they exist. You can advertise your Discord server in all kinds of different server advertising networks. I'm talking here more about Discord networks that are specifically serving up adverts in your Discord server. These are bots that are designed a little bit like Google AdWords or Bing or Twitch ads to serve advertisement content from brands within your Discord server. It's a great way to monetize your Discord server if you're happy to have advertisements on your Discord server itself. However, what I will say is there's not very many of these available. It's quite a new thing. I've actually been approached by a few different networks that want to advertise their services through my Discord server and also through my YouTube channel as well. This isn't a paid sponsor, so I'm not gonna mention any of those, but there are Discord server advertising networks that will serve up adverts to your Discord members and they just see those adverts passively as posts in your Discord server. If you're watching this video and you're aware of really good advertising networks that serve up adverts on Discord servers, feel free to link it in the description below and I will try and check them out and see if there are any good and I will heart the comments to make sure that they're at the top. So now halfway through the video, we're getting into some of the more niche Discord monetization techniques. So these are things that are not really classic marketing techniques, things that are a little bit more specific to Discord. I would definitely recommend advertising all of your different social medias, particularly those that can themselves be monetized. So having social links within your Discord, yes, it makes sense, but just being able to cross pollinate your Discord members into Twitch, into Patreon, YouTube, then means that you can monetize your Discord by virtue of directing some of that traffic to other paid methods. And all that is, is generating adverts on YouTube, generating adverts on, on TikTok, maybe Patreon subscribers or Twitch subscribers that originate from your Discord server. You can encourage people to do that. And bonus tip here regarding monetizing other platforms through Discord is that if you link your Discord to those platforms using a bot, for example, the Twitch integration that I've got a video of, about just here, that in itself means there's a deeper integration of that monetization to that third party platform. And of course, the reverse is true too. When you are streaming, when you are making videos, make sure that you cross pollinate those people back into Discord so that all these tips that I'm telling you about in this video can then apply to those people that are interested in those monetization options that you've got in your Discord server. By the way, feel free to join my Discord server. <laughs> Next up, exclusive paid events through your Discord server. Obviously, you can stream via Discord, but you can also promote events via Discord and allow access to those events within Discord. Another thing that you can do is promote events that are on third-party platforms that are paid events, exclusive paid events, promoted through your Discord. So there are a number of different ways that you can handle paid events through Discord, which will help you monetize your Discord server. A long while ago, I actually covered 
covered this. Streamlabs released a product called Lucra, and I did a video all about the benefits of Lucra. Lucra is a platform that will handle the streaming side of the paid event, but it also handles the ticketing side of the paid event as well, as well as the chat. However, you don't have to stop there. There are loads of different paid event services that you can use. And again, if you're watching this and you have used a paid event service through your Discord, feel free to drop the link in the comments below. Next up, we've got Paywall Discord servers. So these are Discord servers that are only accessible when you've actually made a payment or some sort of membership or subscription. There are a few different services that offer this, but I know Launch Pass in particular is one that some people have used very effectively. The two examples I'm going to show on screen here show exactly how this works. One is a trading platform that shows like trading trends and profit sharing ideas, and you can follow the trades that this person makes. Obviously, he's monetizing that through Discord, and there are different membership levels you can get. Another example of a Discord that is behind a paywall is the Laced Network. This is a service that can automate the checkout process when you're trying to get exclusive products so that you can guarantee that you get those products. I guess this would be so that you can buy multiples of it and then resell them. But if you're just a consumer that wants access to exclusive goods, this is the type of server that you might want to pay to join so that you can then get guaranteed checkout on those in an automated way. That's only two examples, but I'm sure there's a million different applications for paywall Discord servers, and that's a cool way of monetizing a Discord server in itself. Next up, we've got a more deeper integration of monetization within Discord. Me6 and a number of different other bots now provide the ability to monetize via memberships and subscriptions directly into your Discord. So it is a bot that can handle the payments and link to your PayPal or Cash App. It then allows people to support you through your Discord server in a really nice, neat, powerful way and that allows you to connect directly with your Discord members within Discord. I think these are going to become a lot more common now as Discord grows bigger and bigger and the communities get bigger and bigger as well. But it's all about adding value for those memberships. Okay, great. You might get some membership revenue if you just put the membership out there and ask people to support you happy days. However, really you want to be trying to add some value for those memberships. It might be exclusive channels within your Discord. It might be exclusive one-on-one -on -one meet and greets, advice sessions, or anything like that you want to give to your Discord members that are paying to speak to you. It might even be that you open up your DMs to those people if they've got certain roles. And that's another great thing about these membership bots is that we'll auto-assign a role to the people that assign themselves one of these members and pay to support you. These really don't take too long to set up and I've used Me6 before. It's a highly successful, very popular bot. The final bonus tip here for monetizing your Discord server is that Discord themselves are now testing and trialing direct subscriptions through their platform for your Discord members. Now, I don't know a hell of a lot of information about this, but I'm going to link this article now that tells you all about it in the description below. So feel free to click on that and read up a little bit more in detail about this. I think this is going to be coming very, very soon because they've been testing this for a long, long time. This will operate a little bit like the way Twitch's subscription service works, where basically people can just directly pay to support you through Discord without having to use a bot like Me6. And the great thing about this is it will be native to Discord when they release this on full access. However, they will more than likely put this behind some sort of achievement wall. For example, you might need to have 500 Discord members to activate the Discord premium member membership function. So that was eight different ways that you can monetize Discord. Hopefully you found that really, really useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to follow me on the different social medias and have a wonderful day. Take care.